Welcome to the assembly video for the Burrow King Offset Smoker. Please use this video as a companion to your assembly manual. Now let's get started. Begin by unpacking all the components from the box and lay them out in your workspace. You will need the following to assemble your Burrow King Offset Smoker. A number 3 Phillips screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, and the included hardware package. Step 1. Install the legs labeled A, B, C, and D on the cook box portion of your offset smoker. Secure in place using the hardware provided. Note the support brackets on legs A and B that extend to the edge of the cook box. Step 2. With the legs securely attached, install the lower shelf and attach using the four screws provided. Now tighten with your screwdriver. Step 3. Attach the wheels to your smoker and secure with the two nuts provided. Now tighten with your adjustable wrench. Step 4. Flip the offset smoker on its side and position the fiberglass seal around the cookbox opening, ensuring not to cover any of the holes. Step 5. Thread in two bolts to the upper edge of the firebox. The holes required are closest to the cookbox opening. Step 6. With the smoker balanced on its end, attach the firebox to the cookbox, starting with the pre-threaded screws. Now secure in place with the remaining six screws. Now tighten with your screwdriver. Step 7. Once the firebox is secured to the cookbox, stand your smoker on its wheels. Step 8. Attach the lid handles to your smoker by setting the handle seats on the lid. Note that the large side of the wedge is always on top of the handle. Tighten each screw with your screwdriver. Now is a good time to remove the display card from the lid of the smoker. Begin by loosening the fastener from the temperature gauge and removing it. Now peel off the display card and reattach the temperature gauge. Now install the firebox lid handle using the same hardware and mounting process used on the main chamber lid. Your offset smoker is equipped with Royal King's unique firebox divider. Install the divider in the tracks and place the bolt through the firebox into the cookbox. Install the washer, spring, and wing nut over the bolt. Now tighten to hold the divider in place. Step 9. Install the hinge assembly for the cookbox access door and secure with the two screws provided. Now install the bottle opener and tighten the two screws with your screwdriver. Step 10. Install the cookbox access door into the hinge assembly. First remove the door latch hardware from the door handle. Then install the door latch so the latch is horizontal while the door handle is vertical. Please note, the latch will hold the door closed when the handle points downward. Step 11. Attach the mobility handle to the end of the cookbox. Attach using the eight screws provided.
Step 12. Using the four long screws remaining, secure the exhaust stack to the top of the cookbox. Step 13. Install the hinge assembly for the firebox access door. Step 14. Attach the firebox access door to the hinge assembly. Step 15. The front shelf installs by inserting the shelf studs into the shelf supports on the front of the firebox. Step 16. Install the ashtrays for both the firebox and the cookbox through their respective access doors. Step 17. Install the diffuser trays in the cookbox. And the charcoal grids in the firebox. Note that the handles on the diffuser trays should be positioned back to front. Step 18. Install the cooking grids in the cookbox and firebox. Note that the cooking grids in the firebox may not be necessary for all cooking applications. Now that you have finished the assembly, there are a few more simple steps you need to complete before enjoying your Broil King Offset Smoker. Season the cooking grids thoroughly with oil. The oil will protect the grids from rusting. Light a charcoal fire with four to six pounds of hardwood lump charcoal and let it burn through completely. The smoke coating that builds up inside the smoker will protect the internal components and promote ideal cooking performance as it accumulates. Once you've burned through the charcoal, allow the smoker to cool down for approximately two to three hours. Empty the ashtray and clean out the firebox. Apply another layer of seasoning to the cooking grids. And now you're ready to cook with your Broil King Offset Smoker. Now is a good time to register your barbecue grill. Please visit BroilKingBBQ.com today and click on the link. It's quick and easy. We'll provide you with the very best in customer support, recipe ideas, informative videos, grilling tips, and much more.